Hi everyone, Z here. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about one of my favorite topics, which is growing your team, growing your crew of people who are passionate about doing what you're doing too. Now, what's interesting, you guys, is this is usually the piece that's hardest for most people to do. It's not hard because it's actually hard to do, but it's the piece that is either forgotten or ignored or procrastinated on. And that's actually inviting people to join your team. Here's the problem with that. When you come into this business and you get excited about Shackley and the product and sharing wellness, why do you assume that other people around you wouldn't want to do the same? And I'll tell you why. We don't want to bug people. We don't want to be disappointed, right? So if you reach out to a couple friends and they're like, "Mm, that's not for me, it brings you down and you feel like, oh, I don't think I should have shared. I don't want to share because nobody wants to join me. There are people that want to join you. And it really comes down to a couple of things. It has to be the right time in their life. So prime example, there's a gal on our Shackley team right now who is awesome and she's crushing it. Seven years ago, I actually talked to her about joining me and it was a hard pass. Not for me, not, didn't even consider it. And I ran into her at Target actually, um, with, I think I was with one, my daughter and we kind of started chatting and she texted me later and was like, I want to do this. It has to be the right time. So you can't take it personally. You cannot take it personally if people say no to you, but it doesn't mean you have to, or that you should stop inviting people because if you don't grow a team, you are missing out about the most incredible, missing out on the most incredible part of this business, right? You really can't grow a successful business without a team. And it's fun. It's fun to have people around you that are passionate and excited. Like I like hanging out with you guys, my team. And so I want you to have that same feeling and to grow a successful business or else you're going to be a salesperson selling by yourself forever. And you don't want that. You want to lead people and inspire and grow a team and run a successful business. Even if it's just one or two people in the beginning that you want to be around and have fun with and learn this together, that's fine. The other biggest mistake I see when it comes to growing your team is that people wait to know everything themselves. So like, I want to learn it all and then I'll grow a team. Big, big mistake. That's not going to happen. Like, I'm just telling you. So I started growing my team immediately, literally like two weeks in when I first started in network marketing. I reached out to some friends and I'm like, hey, listen, like, I think this would be really fun to do together. I don't know a lot, but we'll figure it out and we can figure it out together. And that was actually a better place to invite people because they knew what to expect from me rather than waiting for that moment where you're like perfect and you know everything because that will never, ever happen. Especially in our line of work, things are always changing. So you're never going to know everything to be able to teach someone everything. So invite people to join you now. When it comes to inviting, I really have just one rule. I have to like you as a person. That's it. I never think about, will they be successful? Do they have a strong social media following? I don't think about any of that. It's, do I really like you as a person? Because I don't want anyone on my team who I don't like as a person. If you are amazing on social and you've got a good following and you know how to do this, but I don't vibe with you as a person, you should probably just join someone else. But if I like you as a person, even if you don't have any of the skills, no big deal. We'll figure all of that out. I just want to build my team with people that I vibe with as human beings. I respect you. I like you. That's what matters. So that's the only rule. Every single month, I have this little booklet and I have in the front, I, every single month and on the top, I write down um, hit list. So it'll be December hit list, um, January hit list. And my goal is to get 20 people on here. These are 20 people who I would love to have on my team. It's like my dream crew. Then the next month, so let's say my December list out of these 20, I've talked to everyone and one person was like, I'm interested, right? I'm going to start my next month list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this list and I'm going to say, you know what, this gal, like, I still think she'd be awesome. I know we haven't had a chance to chat. Like her life's busy. Things have been happening, but I still want to stay close to her. I'm going to write her name down again. This person, it's just not going to work. She's not interested right now. I don't see it happening in the, in the feet right now, maybe seven years down the road. So I'm not going to forget about her forever, but she's not going to make my January list. So of the 20, I moved over maybe 12. So I got to think of eight people, right? That I would love to get to know to see if they'd be right for this, okay? Doesn't mean that I'm going to invite them all. I'm probably going to invite them, but maybe there's a couple where it's like, I just kind of want to get to know them better. 
excuse me, but that's who I want on my team. And I do this every single month, this activity, literally every month. Okay. And there's been a couple months where I'm like really gung ho about growing my team. I'll even write down 50 names on here. Right. So write these people down and start thinking about this is who my team is going to be. So what happens when someone says, I'm interested in learning more. Okay. I'm going to share a screen. Um, well, first of all, let's back up. If this is someone that, you know, pretty well, I just get on the phone. Hey, let's chat about it. Do you want to grab coffee? Do you want to get on the phone? Just be real and talk to them in real life, right? So if someone's interested that you know pretty well, don't do the other steps. Just get on the phone with them or Zoom um, or meet for coffee if you're local, okay? And just talk from your heart. What do you love about Shackley? What do you love about our team? And why do you think they'd be awesome, okay? If it's someone you don't know very well, then I am going to show you guys what I recommend you do. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the Wellness Shack. The Wellness Shack is for everyone on this team to use. And um, see this join the team button? You can copy this link at the top and send it. And I usually say, hey, check this out when you have a minute. There's a video to watch and there's a lot of good information. And then if, if you want to learn more, fill out the interest form. We can set up a time to chat. Okay, so interest form. There's a question on here. I'll show you guys exactly what it says. It says, First and last name, email address, where you're located, what best describes you. Um, please provide the name of the Shackley rep. So if they say, you know, Mary told me about the opportunity, then I'm going to, when I get a copy of this, I'm going to send it to Mary and say, hey, this is so and so's interested. They want to do this. Okay. So let's go back over here. They can watch this video. This is actually a Shackley video. It interviews me and two other people in the company about a day in the life. So it's a pretty good video for them to watch. I share my story up here. Um, fun pictures from team events. What does it take to be successful? They can read about what it actually takes, which is like being coachable. You've got to have some kind of interest in wellness, right? Like you can't not care. Um, you have to, I think taking initiative is really important um, and showing up with gratitude. Those are the things that I feel really help to make a successful social seller, right? At Shackley. And then what do you do every day as a wellness and social media influencer? So what do you do in case people want to know what to do every day? Interest form again. And then in order to get your picture up here, you have to hit star club and your photo will be up here. So you can share this link with people. You can send them this link. And like I said, what I usually say is I say, hey, check this out, watch the video, read through everything. And then if you're interested in learning more, I think you'd be amazing. Fill out the interest form. All right, now here's my disclaimer. You got to follow up. People are not going to just go to the link and do it real fast. You got to come back around and say like, hey, um, did you have a chance to watch it? I, I still think you'd be amazing. Will you just give it a shot, right? So stay on top of them and follow up. And you're going to have a lot of people that check it out and they're like, yeah, but it's just not for me right now. That's okay. That actually is not a bad thing. I, I said no thanks to a million opportunities. I actually said no to the one I started with probably two years before I said yes. Right. So just, but nobody ever asked me again. I think they've asked me again. I would have said yes, maybe six months into it. So stay close to people. It doesn't mean you're asking them every day, but you're just staying close to them in your life. And then when the time is right, you ask again. Okay. But if you're not doing these things regularly, you will never grow your team. Make a goal personally to bring on two people to your team every single month. I know that might sound a lot to those of you who are brand new, but make that goal. And you'll see the more you focus on that goal, just like you do with your selling goals, the more likely it's going to be that you're going to hit it. All right. Hope this was helpful. And I'm so excited to see you grow your team. And then the cool thing is when that person does join you, they can go through the same exact training that you're doing. So you're not going to have to know all the answers for them. Have a great one. I'm excited again to help you grow your team here.